Okay, now that we've finished downloading the zip file from Backwoods GPS Trails, we're going to use ES File Explorer to extract the downloaded file uh, and put them in the proper folders. So, we'll go to ES File Explorer, and click on Internal Storage. And my downloads using Firefox downloads them to a file called a folder called download. And there it is. Osman Snow, New Hampshire, Maine, Vermont, New York, QC.zip. We'll click on that. And that includes a variety of files. The first ones you see at the top there, these here, OBF files, are the snowmobile trail maps for each individual state and province. And the next ones down are a couple XML files, snowmobile five color. That is a file that sets the colors and zoom levels, that type of thing for the vector maps, snowmobile vector maps. And then there's another one which has a cyan color nice high contrast for over a dark map background such as Microsoft hybrid satellite images and then the next series of files end in the type meta info so here's one ERSI topo that's a topographical map that makes a nice underlay map that you can put the trails over top uh, and then the other ones are tile snow Maine, New Hampshire, Vermont, there's a variety of them. Those are statewide snowmobile trail maps that could be used as an overlay. So the bottommost one will be an underlay map like Microsoft Hybrid or the Esri Topo. And the next layer on top of that would be the offline vector maps. And then over top of that, you can lay a layer, another layer, which is an overlay map, which is online tiles uh, which could be one of these uh, snowmobile maps which just shows the trails the other things show through so now we're gonna change the selection here and do the first ones which will be the most important which is which are the vector files because those contain your searchable map points includes routing uh, all that information and um, so the next thing we'll do is once we long click on them select them all we're gonna click on extract then under extract I want to select to choose a certain path then on the, I want to click on that path to refine it a little bit now it's going to my micro SD card virtual micro SD card then to the Osmond folder in the folder you will see a number of subfolders um, tiles tracks voice roads red rig fonts backup the one we want to put the OBF files in is in the root folder so that's SD card dot Osmond as it shows up on the top and so I'm just gonna click OK and then click OK again and I have some in there already. Normally you wouldn't have those in there, but I'm doing this a second time. And I'm gonna say overwrite, overwrite, apply to all, overwrite. So it's gonna copy them all over. Now the next thing we wanna copy over would be the rendering styles. And they go into a different subfolder of Osman. So I'm gonna click on the extract button on the bottom left again. I'm going to choose the path. I'm going to click on the path to refine it because I want it to go into Osmond. And the rendering XML files need to go in the rendering subfolder. The other ones, the other files we copied, the OBF files went into the root folder of OSM A and D. And now that subfolder of rendering is where I want to put the XML render files. So I'm going to click OK. 
click OK again. And they're already in there because I did this once before. I'm going to just say overwrite. You won't have to do that. So it's copied those. And then the remaining files, the meta info files, I'm going to select all those. And then I'm going to say extract. And I'm going to choose the path again. Click on the path. Click on the Osmond root folder. And these are online overlay tile meta info files which describe to the Osmond app where to go out on the internet and find these raster image files. And normally they go into tiles, but they need to be in subfolders of tiles. So I'm going to put them just in the tiles folder when they're in their raw state, and then they get modified later, as you'll see. So I'll click on OK, and click on OK again. And again, I have them in there already, so I'm just going to say Apply to All to overwrite them. And that should put those files there. And so now I should have all the files in the correct directories. So we'll just go in and browse them and take a look to review. Scroll to Osmond, and in Osmond, I see all the Snow Maine, Snow New Hampshire, Snow New York, Snow QC, uh, and Snow Vermont, because those are all the ones I ordered. If I only ordered the Snow Trails for Maine, I just have the Maine OBF file. And if I look under the rendering, I'll see the snow, two additional snowmobile rendering files. They're in the right place. And then I'll look into the tiles folder. And besides a number of folders, I'll see these meta info files. And then we'll copy those later into their own subfolders and then modify the file names so that they are operational. So basically, you've downloaded the files, put them in all the proper locations, and we're good to go on to the next step.